Preparing for a withdrawal, some of the 700 U.S. troops whose work training local forces in Somalia is coming to a premature end, raising questions about the fight against the armed group al-Shabaab. The blow from the U.S. operational standpoint is that over time it'll lose its ability to have American eyes on the ground, um, to have uh, more interaction with Somalia, Somalian troops who have not proven uh, that resilient in the fight against terrorism and needed that U.S. backing. And so it really is a blow to Somalia in that sense, and for no good reason. President Donald Trump has ordered their withdrawal as part of his plan to reduce U.S. involvement in military missions abroad. It comes after announcements last month to draw down troops in Afghanistan and Iraq. Trump says he's determined to fulfill the election promises he made before he leaves the White House next month. The Pentagon says it's concerned about the threat posed by al-Shabaab, and one Democratic congressman on the House Armed Services Committee says the withdrawal of U.S. troops is, in his words, a surrender to al-Qaeda and a gift to China. Analysts say President-elect Joe Biden could reverse Trump's drawdown. The U.S. is all over Africa. They're all over the world. There's some, you know, 40 or 50 countries with American troops. Uh, and so Biden will probably be able to get that level of troops back into Somalia if he needs to. The Pentagon hasn't said how many U.S. personnel will stay in Somalia to train and advise local forces. But critics say the withdrawal could not come at a worse time, with fighting in neighboring Ethiopia and upcoming elections in Somalia. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.